Hi Gemini, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do uh, your love reading. Please remember, as always, it is a general reading. If I give timing, timing is flexible. Everything else is in the description box. If you want to request a personal reading, if you'd like to enter my giveaway, um, or check out my new channel called Heal to Love 333. I have some popular video links below uh, for uh, opening up the heart chakras so that you can uh, attract love and abundance in your life. There's other videos on some of the other chakras like the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and also even the throat chakra. Uh, most recently I published a video for uh, attracting and manifesting your true love. So all of those videos are below. I am a Reiki therapist and I incorporate Reiki energy into the uh, videos for healing as well. So check that out if you like. Subscribe, like, comment. I do appreciate it. And let's get started with your reading. And also lastly, uh, with personal readings, please email me as the scheduling is a little bit tight this week. I appreciate it and I appreciate all of your support so let's get started I'm gonna pull one card for the overall energy and then bottom of the deck will be your challenge okay so messenger of earth for the overall energy okay so you may be receiving some sort of message from someone can be an offer let's see okay so your challenge here is the ace of water okay interesting what I'm hearing okay with this messenger of earth and the ace of water I almost feel like um, there's some sort of offer or message coming through but it's not what you're hoping for okay I feel like there's something here you're hoping to happen in the situation um, it can be uh, a marriage proposal here with the Hierophant. Um, it can be an offer of commitment. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of message coming through. And like I said, it can be an offer. But for some reason, I'm getting the energy. It may not be what you are hoping it is. Okay, And maybe it's not from the person that you're hoping it to be. But let's see. Uh, let's pull some cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Gemini in love? All right. You have the Patience card, Strong Sagittarius Energy. Queen of Earth. Uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo Energy. Look at that. Fortune's Wheel. Very nice. You have the Three of Earth. You have the Ten of Air, Aquarius, Libra, and your energy, Gemini. And you have the Seven of Earth. Okay. I feel like there's a timing issue here. And you have the Six of Air. And six of Air energy. I feel there's some sort of message coming through, but I feel, like I said, it may not be the offer that you're thinking or hoping for, something like that. But I feel like the energy here, it may have to do with timing. You have the Patience card and you have the Three of Earth. I feel like in the past here, and I'm getting here, this may be a divine timing um, connection here. Or, you know, it's going to take some time. I feel that there is an energy of you and someone here working on things, making things work. So whether, you know, this is um, someone already in your life, okay, or somebody new coming in. Okay, but there's something about patience and timing. You have the Queen of Earth and you have the Ten of Air. Yeah, this is where I feel like there's some sort of offer coming through, but you're, you're, you're stuck on something in your head. There's a lot of thinking going on. And as I said, I feel like there's something where it's not exactly what you were hoping for. Not exactly what you were wishing for, okay? Or maybe 
the message that comes through, it's not clear or you weren't giving a lot of clarity. We're going to clarify. And then you have the fortune's wheel and you have the seven of earth. I get the energy that things are going to work out, that things are going to turn in your favor. As I said, I feel there could be a, a period of time where you, there may be some patience or waiting or timing. Okay. And then the six of earth, or sorry, six of air. There could be distance between the two of you, physical distance. That could be why there's a timing issue here. But this also can be that it's going to take some time for the two of you to work on things because it shows me here that you may be coming out of some sort of conflict um, or there may have been some drama in the past or, you know, something like that. But let's pull some cards and clarify. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What is the patience card here in the three of earth? Okay, you have the page of wands. You have the death card. And you have the two of swords on bottom of the deck. Here you have the ace of pentacles. Yeah, so this is what I was saying. I would feel like you, there was a situation where you were wanting something long term. You were wanting something, um, some stability in your situation. And that's where I was feeling like this didn't happen, okay? Or it's not happening as quickly as you want it to be. I feel like there, this may be somebody, somebody here where there was some sort of ending, okay? And it was because someone was indecisive in the situation. I feel like this is the person that you were dealing with. Your person may have been holding back in the past because they had some sort of fear or they weren't sure what they wanted is the energy that I am getting. But I do see here with this page of wands, I feel like with patience, I do... Feel like there is some sort of communication or message coming through that they do want to work on things and it may have been there may have been needed to be some distance or uh, some separation between the two of you for this person to really decide what what it is they truly want they do feel very passionate about you why is the queen of earth and the ten of air here please why is the queen of earth and the ten of air here you have the magician, the emperor, <laughs> and the queen of pentacles. Two, two queen of earths there, and you have the empress. Yeah, you have the empress and you have the emperor. Look at that. You have a divine cu couple here. Definitely a divine counterpart. So, as I said, I feel like there's some communication coming through here. However, there's something here you're stuck on. I feel you're thinking a lot about this. I feel like this is around commitment. I feel with this uh, magician, the emperor, and the queen of pentacles, I feel like your person wants a new beginning, a new start with you. They're, they're planning on how to make this happen. They are somebody, I feel, who wants to be in control. They, they are planning. It could be a strong Aries. Okay. I feel like they do want to offer commitment here in the situation. But it may be too. It could be them here that's overthinking this. Okay, because they are somebody here. I feel like your person, what am I trying to say here? Your person may be somebody who definitely very detailed, somebody who is does things in a certain order, some somebody who likes their routine, somebody who um, I feel they want to make th sure things are just right. 
almost like a perfectionist energy. This can be somebody who could have their own business. They also may be somebody who's very focused on their, their finances right now. Okay. That's what I'm getting there. I feel like this person wants to make sure that they do well, that they're doing well financially. Okay. Before they can make that final uh, long-term commitment, I'm feeling. But uh, let's pull some more cards. Let's see. This one wanted to come out. Look what came out. <laughs> I was just saying, too, they want... They want to make sure that they're financially doing well before they could offer something for the long term. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, yeah, look at King and Queen here too. I feel that definitely you and this person make a very strong, powerful couple. Look at that, and then the Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, the Page of Swords, okay. I feel your person, um, they may be, I feel like they're spying on you, okay? I feel like this person is going to be reaching out. They're going to communicate to you. They're trying to figure out what, what uh, you are doing. Look at that. They're making that judgment call. They're kind of preparing themselves. They're investigating what you're doing. They're making that judgment call here. They're planning, okay? They're very up in their head about it. You have the Ace of... Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, your person here, I feel, there's going to be a little bit of a wait. But your person here is coming in. Um, they want to do things right. I feel like they're preparing themselves. They want to be doing good financially. They may even need to apologize here. But if not, I feel your person is sending some sort of message. Okay, they're going to kind of send you some sort of light uh fun message here okay just to feel it out to see how you're doing because i feel like you um i feel with the six of air there was some sort of conflict or ending in the past and i feel it was around commitment this person making any type of commitment let's pull the possible outcome here thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what's the possible outcome in the situation with Gemini in love. Okay, you have the moon card, Pisces Cancer energy. You have the tower. And you have the six of earth and bottom of the deck here. Here's that two of air energy. As I said, this person was very indecisive in the past. I feel like, too, they're wondering how you're going to respond to them when you reach out to them. That's why I feel like they're trying to figure out what you're doing, okay? Um, as I feel like for a lot of you, this was something that ended or you're in separation with this person, okay? They're going back and forth in their head about this because they, they do miss you and they have a lot of feelings uh, for you with the six of water and look. You have the emperor. This is them planning. That's what I'm saying. They've been spending a lot of time alone planning, okay, trying to figure out the best course of action, I feel. And look what you have here, the ten of earth. They do see you as somebody long term. Okay, you have the moon card. So I feel this is the past energy, okay? They weren't able to provide anything like I'm almost hearing like anything tangible, like there was nothing where they gave you their intentions or they told you how they felt. They let, may have left you in the dark here. Okay, their energy was very indecisive. Also too, they were holding back because of fear. You have the tower card. So this is where I feel you are going to be surprised or this is going to be unexpected. <coughs> unexpected um, in the sense that you weren't maybe expecting this person to reach out to you. Okay, this also can be that, you know, them having an epiphany here. Okay, realizing uh, that they want to a new start with you. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, this is where I'm seeing they are going to put in uh, that time. They are going to put in that energy, especially with you have the six and the seven, 
okay, of earth, which is the, the pentacles here. They are going to put in the time and the energy is what I'm seeing. This is the blessing that's coming. This is the shift here, okay? Shift in your favor if you're wanting to be with this person, okay? I feel this time around, they are very genuine about um, putting in the time and the effort for the long term here, okay? Where maybe in the past they were very, you know, they were very, uh, I'm hearing like, very much avoided feelings, discussions, feelings on commitment. Very indecisive in the past. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Gemini? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you may have definitely shut this person out or maybe you just continued on with your life after you know things ended here or there was a separation and you focused your energy on you and that's what is pulling them back in. As I said, I feel like they may be spying on you in some sort of way. They're seeing the change in you or they're just... Uh, missing you from afar okay you have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going so in the past I feel the love was unrequited okay they weren't putting in the effort in the past as I said they were very indecisive look at that you deserve love you are lovable Cupid's arrow yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're getting ready. They're planning here. I always see this as, you know, this person's aiming for a target. Okay, they have a plan. They have a goal. Oh, soulmate. This, yes, this is your soulmate. Yeah, they realize that. They realize that now. Bottom of the deck, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. No. They're getting ready here. They're getting ready to uh, put themselves out there with you. In the past, I feel their, their energy was very indecisive. It can be your person felt low self-worth or low uh, self, um, you know, felt lack. Okay, and that's why they were indecisive. And it was just fear, okay, that was holding them back in the past. So I feel your person is reaching out to you. I feel like your person does want a new beginning with you. If you're wanting it there, I do sense that this could be a very long-term connection relationship for you, Gemini. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Gemini. Again, details are below for my giveaway. Or if you'd like to check out my new channel, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.